Shut up and sit down. Hi, I'm PJ McTavish and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So this is going to be a very short one on basically dynamic mechanisms. So I have one or two um, drawings up of involutes for dynamic mechanisms. That would be section C, uh, question C4. And I have the involute of a square and involute of a hexagon. And I was asked for an involute of a pentagon, which you see in this comment here. So I'm just going to draw one quickly and put that up on the channel. So first things first, draw a pentagon. Okay, so there's our pentagon. I just wanted a pentagon of 40 millimeter uh, length inside, just so it's small enough and that we can get the full input on the page. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label all the points just so I um, can get across which lines are what, etc. I'm starting off the bottom right hand corner here and I'm gonna go with uh, starting off with A, obviously. So the best example of an input is imagining that there is a string wrapped around the circumference of this pentagon and what we're doing is unraveling it starting at a pulling it tight and then it's basically the locus of the end point of that string as it continually unwraps from a all around the edges back to that a again okay so it's basically a bit of string full circumference we're cutting it at a and pulling it tight and unwrapping it around so first thing we're going to do is at each corner it's going to be basically a pivot point and what we're going to do is rotate point A around point B now until it reaches the line from CB. So put the pin to compass at B, lay it at A, and you rotate around. And you stop where you extend out the next line. So basically it's rotating from A around and it's pulling straight with that CB line there. So extend that CB line until we meet. So it's pivoted around B, rotate, around, rotate A around until you reach the CB line. And when you reach here, your pivot point or your point of rotation now switches to the next point, which in this case is C. And we're gonna rotate that point here around C. So pin the compass at C, lead at our point there, and rotate that around until you reach the DC line. So extend out the DC line, and now it's rotated up to there. And again, just like before, our pivot point moves back to from C to D. Our length is here. This is the end point of the locus of our, say, bit of, bit of string. So now the lead or the pin that comes goes at D, your lead goes all the way out here and you swing another arc until you reach the line from D E. Same thing again, pin at E, lead at the end here. And then the last pivot point is back at A, pin at A, lay it out here, swing it down, and extend out that line, baseline, AB. Now there's your full pectagonal, uh, pectagonal involute. So you're starting off at A, pin at B, and you're rotating around from that line there. Because basically what's happening is the string is being pulled from 
stretch from A out, and then your pivot point, because this is the length of string now goes to C, and you extend around, back to D, and so on. So we're going to draw that in strong now. So that's your involute of Pentagon, and this is just a quick short one from dynamic mechanisms. There is a few other involutes up there of uh, triangles and squares and hexagons and so on. So just just add it now to the playlist. So uh, as always, hope that helped. If it did, leave a like, and we'll see you in the next video.